Taiwan? Or? Uh, from the mainland. Mainland. Okay, yes. great. Me too. Me too. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, I, I'm an American citizen right now, but yes, I came yeah. from China. Yeah, me too. So, 26 years ago, I know what socialism is. I know how evil it is. I don't want this country to become another socialist or communist dictatorship. We have to stop that. That's okay. why we're here. So, has uh, Len, because you're from mainland China, tell me about your view of uh, Trump's China policy, especially he has made a lot of moves recently. Yes, yes. I think actually uh, Trump is the first president. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, sir. Yeah. I uh, seems like the uh, background is getting too noisy. And yeah, yeah. Can... Uh -huh. If you can speak to the mic, that yeah, would sure. help. Yeah. For the sound quality for our uh, okay. uh, uh, audience good. in Hong Kong, especially, uh, you know, Hong Kong is very much affected, and okay. a lot of people in Hong Kong are very concerned about yeah. the Trump. Good. So yes, uh, I think uh, President Trump is the first U.S. president who actually is taking a firm stand against the Chinese communist dictatorship, and that's very important because you know. Uh, People in the West have been misled by the Chinese uh, propaganda and uh, they believe that China will open up politically uh, while at the same time we're doing business with them, we're helping them develop economically, technologically. So now they have advanced so much. If we let them keep developing like this, continuing to steal stuff from us, to take advantage of the technologies, they will in one day be able to actually crush freedom. So we have to take action now before it's too late. And so, yes, we understand uh, the policies uh, sanctioning China, uh, sanctioning Hong Kong. People will suffer. But look at this. You know, the U.S. is sanctioning Iran, North Korea. Uh, you can say people in those countries also suffer. But that's the basically you don't have any good or better options. Otherwise, you will let those evil uh, regimes get stronger and then they'll actually pose a bigger threat to the regions and to the entire world. We're sorry uh, you're suffering the consequences but unfortunately that's something we have to do and hopefully people in Hong Kong and even in mainland China they will actually rise up to change the political system. Of course I know we know that right now in China they have no political rights. In, free, in Hong Kong the freedoms the rights have been severely abridged curtailed by the Chinese communists. So we're sorry about that, but uh, we have to do that. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, yes. Uh -huh. Uh, I couldn't say I was a firm Trump supporter. Uh, last time, uh, during the 2016 election, I wasn't even a U.S. citizen yet. So I didn't, I couldn't vote, right? Yeah, yeah, thank you. I, I became a citizen uh, more than a year ago. Uh, you know, Trump, he has his flaws, but think about this. We elect the leader not become a moral paragon. No, we elect the leader to do what's best for the country, to, to do what's best for people in our country. And Trump has done a better job than pretty much most of the f last few presidents. So, yes, you know, he is a flawed person, but who isn't? Yes, sorry, yeah. Uh, I think he will do just fine. So, uh, this, the propaganda, the misinformation, about uh, the uh, coronavirus, about this China virus, has been so severely overblown. The fake mainstream media is trying to scare people into the basement. They're trying to destroy the economy so they can prevent Trump's re-election. I think for most people, especially people without any pre-existing uh, serious comorbidities or health conditions, they'll do really well. I'm pretty sure President Trump will do just as well. Uh, I Global, Global Times reported uh, the infection very, very early. In fact, they were the first one. Uh, I don't uh, know too much about that. I, but I don't think it matters too much. If it actually happened, I won't be surprised. But uh, uh, 
I think uh, in the end, uh, Mr. Trump's getting ill and to recover fully will demonstrate to people in this country and people in the world that this uh, pandemic uh, probably is not uh, as the main media, main, uh, mainstream media has cranked it up to be. It's not that bad. It's not so threatening to most people. We know how many people actually got hurt or potentially could have died from it, but not most people, not the young people. So um, do you think this infection, is it going to help him or hurt him? Uh, I think it probably will end up helping him because he basically, you know, it's unfortunate. However, he contracted this uh, virus, we don't know, right? We may never find out. But the fact that uh, he will recover, I'm confident of that. The fact that he will recover and he has recovered, not yet, right? But the fact that in a few days he has recovered will show people that his policies since the very beginning, since the very beginning, probably uh, are good, probably have been correct. Well, I look at it this way. Uh, see, the mainstream media has been trying to shut the president out of uh, people's view, right? So he called, he had to use his Twitter to communicate with the American people and also use his uh, press conferences. So that debate actually gave him uh, another chance to communicate directly with the American people to expose the lies uh, of the in the left of the Biden campaign. Uh, but also I have to tell you, this Chris Wallace, the moderator, actually was very biased. Number one, in the, in the way he treated uh, Mr. Uh, Trump and uh, Mr. Biden. And number two, in how he framed the questions. Because when you ask a question, you can ask a loaded question, right there, where you presume something, you mislead people, so if, like, for example, I can ask you a question. Uh, can you please not beat your husband again? That means you have beaten him before, right? I don't know that I do that. I'm kidding. <laughs> right? Well, you never know. Right? Some, some wives can beat the husband. Right. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right? So, yeah. so he, Chris Wallace, in his question, how he questioned, how he interrupted, and especially how he framed many of the questions, he is deeply, deeply biased. I'm really disappointed in his... Uh, performance than uh, with the president's performance. Yes. What about the, um, the, 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 the tweet videos? You, you, have you watched his, uh, Mr. Trump's uh, tweet videos? How, how do you feel watching his uh, tweet videos? Uh, which video? The, he has tweeted a few, right? Uh, yesterday, last night, and then um, I think yesterday morning too, right? Uh, about his condition? Yes. Yeah, I think uh, he uh, he was genuine. Uh, that probably reflect his real condition. I have no doubt he will recover fully. So yes, you know, I, I don't worry too much about it. You know, we do pray for him, but I'm pretty sure he will come out uh, stronger, just as healthy. What's, what's, what's your experience in the Chinese community? Are they like half and half? Or? Well, it's an unfortunate thing that just like many people who uh, left California. Or, or, or like New York to go to a Republican state because, you know, life in like California, maybe New York, uh, has been made so much worse so people could not live there anymore. But they didn't think about why that became so bad. So when they moved to Texas, they moved to Florida, they continued to vote the same ridiculous policies that they had, they had been doing in California, New York. Uh, Maryland. Maryland, yes. Yeah, it's a very democratic. Uh, democratic it, it is. I know our vote probably uh, doesn't count too much, but we still need to take a stand. Okay, well, congratulations on becoming a U.S. citizen. Thank you, yes. Yes, okay. So, just now, this guy is a Chinese person. He is a Chinese person. He is a Chinese person. He is a 美國公民啦,所以呢次係好looking forward to vote啦。咁佢係話其實佢唔係話自己係一開始就係好支持特朗普嘅啦,完全好 uh, 
中共嘅呢個獨裁啦。咁佢知道佢係有嗰個環境出嚟嘅，佢知道嗰個制度、呃、社會主義、共產主義嗰個制度嘅誒，俾、呃、人帶帶嚟嘅帶嚟嘅痛楚啦。咁佢係希望、呃、支持，佢支持特朗普，同埋佢對特朗普嘅呢個第一次嘅總統嘅誒、呃、辯論嘅呢、這個、呃誒、呃、評論咧，即係話佢覺得 Chris Wallace 嗰、那個誒《佛、呃、事新聞》嘅個主持人咧，佢覺得 Chris Wallace 太過太過太過偏袒拜登啦，同埋佢舉個例，即係話你可以問嗰、那個誒、呃、問題咧，問得好 loaded， 譬如話誒你你點解呢一次冇打你老公咧？咁意思即係話你以前打你老公啦，即係即係可以 preset 你咁啊？誒、嗯，即係誒、嗯，即係咁嘅情況啦。所以呢，誒、呃，佢佢係對 Chris Wallace 係最唔滿意嘅啊。佢冇話，譬如總統嘅表現啊，或者係拜登嘅表現咁咯。啊、嗯，咁、嗯、啊，誒、呃，好，好啊，好，即係好，我都自己都好驚訝咁樣睇到有誒。呃大陸嚟嘅華人喺呢度啦，咁因為因為肯定要支持到支持到一定程度先係話呢個 ，Doggy 好可愛啊！誒、呃、咁肯定要支持特朗普支持到一定程度先至會誒咁、呃、樣義務嘅星期日出嚟，星期日出嚟誒、呃、到呢個街邊嚟支持啊嘛，係嘛？咁所以咧誒、呃、都係好好好奇咯，好驚訝可以睇到華人喺呢度。尤其係大陸嘅華人，咁佢頭先都頭先都話啦，誒而家中華人嘅社區都係係好多人係支持啊民主黨嘅呢、這個，呢、這個係。